Welcome to Freedom Watch Afghanistan. I'm Tech Sergeant Gene Taylor. An MI-8 supply helicopter contracted by International Security Assistance Forces was forced to make an emergency landing yesterday. The incident occurred shortly after the aircraft took off from an ISAF base in Kunar province. One person on board the aircraft died and three were wounded during the incident. Well, while the coalition contracts some helicopter operations out to civilians, one coalition partner just received their Russian-built helicopters. Specialist Robert Quintero takes us on a ride with the first operational Polish Air Force helos in Afghanistan. After a year-long wait of upgrades and repairs, Polish military forces stationed in Afghanistan now have air support capabilities. Prior to receiving their Russian-designed combat helicopters, Polish troops relied heavily on their U.S. counterparts for troop movement and close air support. Polish military officials say since their soldiers are not concentrated in one area, the helicopters will prove useful in several ways. We'll be supported with these uh, helicopters. Uh, we will have two types of helicopters, MI-17 transport for transport, and this helicopter, MI-24, and it is typical uh, combat helicopters. Uh, it will, be, it will uh, support our troops on the land and it will support uh, MI-17 during transport uh, goods and people. The MI-24, also known as the Hind, has flown through the skies of Afghanistan before. However, it was used by the Russians to combat the people of Afghanistan during the Afghan-Russian War. Reporting from Bagram Airfield, Specialist Robert Quintero. Coming up, we'll take you to an unconventional remembrance ceremony. Now, here's a look at your photos from the field. Marines from Alpha Company Battalion Landing Team 1st Battalion, 6th Marine Regiment, 24th Marine Expeditionary Unit, along with the Afghan National Border Patrol, build relationships with local people while patrolling through Helmand Province in southern Afghanistan on August 3rd. Several hundred service members came together at Bagram Airfield on Saturday to honor the memory of our prisoners of war and missing in action. Airman First Class Gina Mulder shows us how the troops at Bagram chose to honor their comrades in a non-traditional way with a 5K foot race. It's a warm, sunny Saturday morning at Bagram Airfield, and over 300 runners are gathering for a run through the base. The five-kilometer Prisoners of War Missing in Action race is being hosted by these Navy Chief Selects who work hard to sign everyone up before the race begins. We're as Chief Selectees tasked with uh, doing community relations project and we decided to do a uh, 5K in remembrance of POWs and MIAs. Get set. Go. We thought it was important to uh, remind the folks over here just exactly what we're serving for and something as simple as a POW MIA run uh, it kind of hits home on people, uh, you know, what exactly we're defending and who came before us. Sergeant Jesse Griffin pushed himself running the 5K in 16 minutes and 42 seconds to take the top prize of a medal and a Navy coin from the Chief Petty Officers Association. Oh yeah, I enjoyed it. It was a tough race, but the chasing the guy down that was in second, uh, it was pretty rough. To me, the best part of the uh, whole thing was the uh, rather large turnout that we had on a Saturday morning at 5.30. You know, People had to get up at 4.35 o'clock in order to be out here uh, just to run 5K in remembrance of the POWs and MIAs. Oh, yeah, definitely. That was another reason I ran because uh, there's always our fallen comrades, and I like to show my respect to them. The run served three different purposes. To the runners, it was a fun challenge and a morning workout. To the chief selects who sponsored the run, it's a community project to bring them together and test their leadership skills. But overall, it's a symbol of remembrance a reminder of those fallen comrades who are prisoners of war or missing in action. Airman First Class Gina Mulder, Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan. That's it for this edition of Freedom Watch Afghanistan. You can find stories from today and previous editions of our show on the web. Point your browser at pentagonchannel.mil. From all of us here at Bagram Airfield, I'm Tech Sergeant Gene Taylor. Thanks for watching and have a great day.